Damn, I feel like it's a politics flavored day today, you know? Once the Me Too movement got going, things started changing. I knew I would have to be brave. I started hearing about all these guys losing their jobs, or at least a few guys, one or two. I never thought I'd be put in a position where I was being held accountable for something I did. I thought, that's something that happens to other people, not to me. They fired me for using my power to solicit sexual favors from interns. I'd been doing this for years, so when they let me go, I was shocked. For several hours, I felt totally and utterly alone. I had nothing. My company credit card, my unaccrued PTO, gone. It was the worst three and a half hours of my life. I felt so powerless. I texted a couple colleagues for support and they immediately responded with, let me see what I could do. It felt like the end of my career. I started having really dark thoughts. I even typed monster.com into my browser. I hadn't updated my resume in years. Instinctively, I almost called my secretary to do it, but because of her allegations, I no longer had a secretary. I felt so lost. Would I ever be taken seriously again? Where would I go? What would become of me? I turned to alcohol to numb myself. I am not proud of that. And by the time I polished off the second drink, I was ready to order a third, a fourth, a fifth. But then I got a call. A former coworker emailed me to say he knew some people at a very reputable company and they set me up with an interview later that day. It was such an emotional time that I'd forgotten that there was this whole network of men that helped men like me get back on their feet. I got the job. <laughs> they even offered me a starting bonus. Now I'm actually at the same level as my previous boss who accused me of harassment. I really thought getting fired was going to break me, but a handful of unstructured hours made me stronger. I'm more confident, more self-assured. I'm proud of who I am. Oh, I'm making a lot more money now, a lot. I'm speaking out so that other men fired in the wake of Me Too know they're not alone. It turns out that this kind of thing happens to a lot of guys. We just don't talk openly about it. It may take you most of the day to find a new job, but if you just half-heartedly throw out a couple of feelers here and there, it will happen. Never hesitate to reach out to someone you trust. He'll understand that as a man, it's in his own best interest to back you up. As difficult as that afternoon was, it helped me see the good in people again. So if you lost your job because of your own behavior, stay strong. Before you know it, everything will be better than ever. It is not your fault that the allegations were actually taken seriously. You are not alone. I too was fired in the wake of Me Too. I too. 
I too. What company? I thought they were gonna reveal like the company they went to.